my name is John and I want to welcome you to the start of my official astronomy journey. Today I have received my Orion, let's see if I can get this right, Orion Newtonian 10 inch astrograph. So um, order may be a little mixed up but I've had a telescope for a while but I've been waiting for this telescope since February. It is now Today's date is June 20th. So it's finally come in and we're gonna do, I guess what will be considered an unboxing. Um, uh, there aren't any uh, reviews for this product. It's a new product um, for Orion. There aren't any reviews for it and nor are there any videos for it. Um, and even the model that it replaced, there weren't a lot of um, videos for that one either. So. We'll see if well, we can remedy that. This purchase was made back in February, beginning of February. And it is now June 20th and the unit has finally come in so we're gonna open it up and see what we have I'm must admit I'm pretty excited back order date changed quite a few times and finally it has arrived the box is in really good condition so I'm excited to see what we have and like with most of this stuff there appears to be a box inside of a box which is a, a good sign less likely to have any kind of damage. All right, all right. So, looks like it's damage free. Everything looks like it's really nicely packed. We're gonna start with some of the smaller box. This one says that it's the 35 millimeter extension ring. I think this is for visual viewing. Let me go ahead and open it. got a compression ring so you don't mark up your eyepieces or other pieces of equipment. This piece is the holder for the finder scope. Comes with a little rubber grommet to um, hold the, the unit itself. No damage. This is obviously the battery holder for the fan that sits in the back. My assumption is this is the finder scope. Nicely bubble wrapped. And it does look like it is the finder scope. 
if I'm not mistaken, doesn't say on here, but I believe it's a 8 by 50. 8 by 50. And the back does screw off. I wasn't sure. It never said that on the in the information that it provided. So as I'm new to this, I'm not sure if a guide scope can attach to that. Um, I did order um, a guide scope and um, in case it, this one wouldn't receive one. So if it does, then I'll send the other one back. If not, then this will be um, something extra. These, I would assume, are the tube rings, both the tube in place. Again, I'm, I'm very impressed with the, uh, the packing. There's uh, absolutely no marks of any kinds on any other boxes, internal, external. Even it was delivered through UPS and even the exterior of the box doesn't show a lot of wear and tear. And so, wow, this thing is big. That's pretty large. Very nice. I'm hoping that you'll be able to see that. It's uh, felt lined, so you shouldn't have to mark up the, uh, the tube. It's prepared on both sides to receive the dovetails. And I'll just put this to the side for now. So that was one. This, of course, is gonna be the second. Is amazing to me how big this is so I have currently I've had it for years and it was what started me I had a I have a Celestron Nexstar 130 SLT so bought it with the intention of starting my astronomy journey excited to see the planets, very nice experience, and then really couldn't do much more than that. I live in a Bordel, where I'm at now is actually, is actually a friend's house. Had it shipped here just to make sure somebody was home when it re when it came in. Um, they live in a Bordel 7, so we'll see if I can do the first light. Currently, I'm moving, but I live in a Bordel 9 area. So I'll, I'll finish the story. So it comes with the book, which a lot of people pitch it away, but I will make a point to, to read through it at my leisure. Again, because I'm just starting my astronomy journey. There is a something over here, but I'm thinking this may just, nope, there's something in it. I was thinking that it was just a filler box, but it is full, so let's see what's in this. Look like it's glued. Oh, it's the dovetail. So, 
they give you a couple of screws and the couple of Allen wrenches and there's already some screws into this and we will attach it to the OTA or telescope or tube. Now that I've given myself a little bit of room to try to lift up this monster. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's crazy. If I'm not mistaken, I'm going to reposition for a second so you can see this a little better. Let's see if I can lift this thing up and kick the box out of the way. So I believe, now I'll check, I believe that the website says that it's 38 inches, I believe, 38 inches tall. And like 36 inches, I mean 36 pounds. Wow, that's pretty cool. I thought it was gonna be a matte finish. It's a gloss. The pictures on the website made it appear to be more of a black matte, but this is still <laughs> quite impressive. Just as a means of um, comparison, this is my <laughs> this is my Celestron 130 SLT. So you can kind of get a sense of the difference in the size. I'm actually gonna reposition everything so I can attach the other accessory, the, at least the, um, the dovetail. So I'll be back.